Shalom. Giving all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rahakurash. Double honors to the apostles, the bishops, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations as always to the elect. And I wanted to do a, a quick lesson. Um, you know, going into uh, in the news. Um, as you can see, I have this uh, video here done by Redacted with Clayton Morris and his uh, spouse. I believe Natalie Morris, and um, they're speaking to uh, Joe Biden's recent visit, all right, to a black college, all right, uh, Howard, you know, where he's speaking to the graduates, <laughs> and he's uh, ranting about the biggest threat to the United States or the biggest threat to the world, and he said it's white supremacy, all right, and I did a video the other day with one aspect of that uh, speech and how they're gaslighting Jake, all right? But um, I saw the elder Mwatasak do a uh, lesson on this, uh, the head of the GMS Los Angeles camp, uh, GMS Rock Solid Foundation, uh, I believe is the name of his page. Um, he spoke to this, so I wanted to do a quick lesson on it as well uh, because the devil, all right, is all over the place. He's working and operating and doing a lot of wickedness Okay, so without further ado, we're going to play the video, uh, get a few scriptures and close it out. Now, uh, on this show, here's a poll for you. What do you think is the biggest threat to the United States? Is it the collapse of the family? Is it the collapse of the middle class? Is it the national debt? Is it the tens of thousands of illegal uh, military aged men pouring across the southern border in the United States and coming through Canada as well? Well, President Biden has his answer, what he thinks the biggest threat to the United States is. Listen. Stand up against the poison of white supremacy, as I did my inaugural address to a single out as the most dangerous terrorist threat to our homeland is white supremacy. <laughs> and I'm not saying this because I'm not a black HBCU. I say it wherever I go. Wherever I go, not just pandering to you here at Howard University for this commencement address and telling you all of the great things that I've done for the black community, like I chose my vice president, Kamala Harris. He mentioned that in the speech. Um, uh, Supreme Court justice. She's the smartest Supreme Court justice. She's also the one that couldn't define who, what a woman was. Yes. Um, so he, he rattled off his, his list of black accomplishments yesterday. Uh, there was a And this whole uh, Biden, Harris party has been a subversion of the mind and soul and pretty much has dumbed every every all of you jakes down man like it was a clear slap in the face it was a clear mocking to uh you know the most high god his only begotten son natural family natural order all right uh you know here it is the the vice president of the health secretary of state is a you know a um a transmission now, what would you listen to an individual, all right, who changed what they were to another, all right, for health purposes? For why would you listen to that? It was just basically a slap in the face, a mocking, all right, and um, it was Satan. It was just basically an implementation of Satanism, finishing what Obama started, okay, making uh, this place into Sodom and Egypt, okay, and our people in their simplicity. All right. Cry for Biden. And, you know, they, they have really nothing to say about these agendas yet. Again, they're supposed to be, uh, you know, you know, this 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 thing called black excellence. They're supposed to be the ones who, uh, you know, whatever. Jake is through at the end of the day. And this uh, Biden administration and how Jake cried for them. All right. Gave uh, 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 spoke life to how through our people were. But let's keep listening because I wanted to attack. Uh, this uh, angle that he's bringing this uh, speech out. A lot of protests. A lot of the, the black students at Howard University holding up signs saying President Biden, Kamala Harris have done nothing to help the black community and they do not care about black people. That's what a number of protests are uh, holding up signs saying uh, during the speech, just for some context here. Uh, the cameras also didn't show those protests. Yeah, the, and Jake, it's kind of, you know, you know, but it's too late. All right, because y'all are ready to vote for, you know, the all right, if, because, because what they're going to do is it may be Trump and Biden running again and Jake 
in their ignorance is going to go vote any damn way. You should just separate from these people altogether. All right. But Jake, you know, is on this, you know, fake woke tangent to where, you know, they're, they're kind of waking up and seeing a little bit of the light that these Dems and these people, period, don't give a damn about them. But it's too late for a lot of you. You need to come back to your how about Shimiao Shai. All right. This is where the true rest is. You don't have rest for your souls because you're constantly allowing these devils to lead you all over the place. The mainstream media did not show those protesters during the event yesterday. So white supremacy is the biggest threat to the United States. Do you guys agree with the president? Do you guys agree with President Biden that white supremacy is the biggest threat to the United States of America? So all of this was coordinated, it seemed, because what's amazing is, almost if it was coordinated, that's the way it comes across to me, a short time later, in Washington, D.C., literally like this was planned, watch this, a group of so-called white supremacists then descended on the Capitol covered in face masks. Look at this. Like, just a few minutes later. Okay. What do you guys think of this? It's like cleaner and No, look at it. Look at the face masks. They're all, yeah, exactly. Well, a lot of people See think that? they're feds. So full-on face masks. Perfect, you know, perfect uniforms. They've all got the same hat. Who paid for all the flags? They're all being filmed, and, and they've all, they're all marching and walking in the same way. Capitol well, Police. Fit. I mean, I don't see very many unfit, you know, like, trained. You know what I mean? There's some, but they look military trained. Like, they just look like the physique is the same. Like, you know, I just... Yeah. I, that's, automatically, I thought fed when I saw that. Now, of course, we know these are agents, all right? But what does this remind you of as the elder brother Mawatazak brought out? Okay, now, before I go to the video, over the last, all right, uh, seven years, ten years, you've noticed that the, uh, you know, presidents and the powers that be are now allowing the talking point of white supremacy being a threat, all right, be talked about on the news and be talked about, you know, like Joe Biden just said it, all right, but synonymously, all right, they're linking what they call black supremacist groups now the true supremacist all right are the ones who are in power okay the 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 uh the the so-called blacks hispanics and native americans will never be supreme within the system of edomite supremacy because they don't control education they don't control labor they don't control economics they don't control entertainment okay they don't control all right these uh uh, uh institutions and corporations that run this world okay they, they they're not able to control all right the water quality of uh, uh, another race okay and make sure nothing but filth is promoted to that race on their radio stations in the music they don't own hollywood they don't they don't own these various different uh institutions that run this world so a so-called black person could never be a supremacist so what they've been able to do all right with the help of the likes of general yohanna all right who talks about black supremacy is, is is what we preach which we don't teach preach black supremacy now the israelites will be supreme in the kingdom of heaven over all of the nations okay but the history of white supremacist groups here in america all right we'll just focus on america has been you know rape robbery murder all right these uh these uh uh, uh you know christians all right you know, white supremacy is tied to uh, the Christianity. It's uh, well known that uh, uh, Edomite supremacist Christian organizations were at the forefront of lynching, you know, uh, uh, burning down churches. Uh, you know, all of the, uh, the the mass shootings, the majority of them were done by Edomite, all right, Christians, right? Historically, we know that, okay? So what they've been able to do is now say well white supremacy is a problem in america all right but now you have this thing called black supremacy or black supremacist groups right see as you can see in this article and you can look up the southern poverty law center all right uh hundreds of black supremacists see black supremacists march through brooklyn chanting we are the real jews in support of disgraced anti-sim uh, Kyrie Irving see just as you just saw those white supremacists marching all right you have on the other hand black supremacists so what they're what they're able to do with this uh witchcraft all right is tie 
the history, all right, of white supremacist groups, all right, to Israelites who are waking up in these latter days. Now, like I said at camp yesterday, I believe, all right, that these particular individuals, all right, who are uh, who show up like I think they're told to be there. When you're under a 501c3, one of the uh, disadvantages, all right, because you have advantages now. You don't you know what a 501c3? If you have the title, if you're a, a religious organization, particular titles, all right, get you not only money but tax exemptions in your job. So you can be, you know, your your job. If you're a part of the 501c3, you not only are you tax exempt the organization, but if you have the, the title of a bishop or a deacon or something like that within that organization, your job where you work, you don't have to pay taxes. So there's various benefits to that. All right. Which lures Jake in. All right. But also synonymously, which I believe you're told to show up to these various different events. OK. And what each what Esau is doing is he's constantly all right, working evil and iniquity behind closed doors, all right, because what they're going to do, okay, through these things is put the notion that black supremacist, which there's no such thing in the system of Edomite supremacy, all right, there's no such thing as a black person, period, all right, are just the same as white supremacist, okay, and you've seen a an influx of Esau calling out white supremacy openly, Okay, and you're like, well, what's this all about? Well, the devil is at work. Okay? You know, Latinos can be white supremacists. See, they're, they're, they're linking everybody into this uh, bubble. Okay? Extremist. Radical. All of these talking points. Right. In tonight with that clash at Barclays in Brooklyn, dozens of protesters marched to the arena ahead of the Nets season or opener to demand Kyrie Irving play, despite not following New York City's vaccine mandates. In fact, at one point, some demonstrators even tried to storm into the building. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner reports. Jessica, the rally here at Barclays Center comes as city workers are planning protests over the mandate all week. <laughs> Some protesters trespassed barricades and used all their might to try to get into Sunday's Nets game. Security had to hold them back and close all front doors to secure the area. Ticketed guests already inside watched it unfold. All this for Kyrie? Because he don't want to get vaccinated? But Kyrie could play if he get vaccinated? The rally started hours before the game at a park about a mile away from the Barclays Center. They're trying to take away our freedom. It was organized by several groups, including Teachers for Choice, Reverend Kevin McCall, and Black Lives Matter activist Hank Newsom, who marched to Barclays with signs. Um, there was a group of about 100 people outside uh, wearing the shirt of a group called Israel United in Christ, a group labeled as a hate group by the Southern Poverty Law Center. Um, they were outside in support of you and handing out anti-Semitic literature on the plaza of people walking by. Because you said I have an army behind me. Yes, what happened to you? Where'd they go? Hey, look, y'all, we got the blitz Brooklyn, man. We in New York City. Hey, look. We've been to surround the Barclays, man, and we've been to show the people that, look, hey, we the true prophets of God, and we got the truth. Hey, look, we just gonna destroy and cast down all yeah. that. Hey, yo. I'm from the north. It really get cold up here. We in control up here. We winning the souls up here. I'm from the north. What you see is better show some respect. All the scripts is cutting your neck. So you have all of these instances happening. All right, where all of these people who are shooting up places are being tied to white supremacists and, you know, all of these ideologies um, surrounding supremacy. All right. And then you have, on the other hand, all right, black supremacists making the headlines, marching around the Barclays Center. All right. You have all of these people who are uh, looked at as troublemakers, stirring up stuff. You know, coming up against, you know, the government talking points coming up against the, you know, the, uh, the, you know, the, the, the juice. 
and they're all going to be linked together. You see, for the devil to make his final decision and come after the prophets. They train like they just look like the physique is the same. Like, you know, I just yeah. I, that's automatically I thought fed when I saw that. <laughs> That's the first thing that came to my mind as well. And I'm, you know, it's amazing. I think a lot of these false flags that we're now seeing, that we're hearing about ahead of time, like we're getting, I think a lot of our audience, a lot of people who saw this story emerge are probably way smarter than they, they give anybody credit for. And I think these stories are starting to fall apart now when they do things like this. I'm not going to lead the witness. I'm not going to tell you what to think, but Twitter had a response and thought maybe similar to what David just said. Um, and it kind of reminds me of that Funny Farm moment. You know, ever see the movie Funny Farm with Chevy Chase? When yes. they're like, when they're like, they release the, uh, release the deer, you know, when those people are coming to the house to like look at the house for the first time. And uh, they're like, all right, oh, look, honey, there's ducks. And they're like, all right, release the deer. And then the deer go running. Yeah. That's exactly what it was like. Cue, you know, cue the deer. Anyway, so this person on Twitter thought that it was feds as well. Take a look at this. Fed, 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 fed. They're all pointing at feds. Order out of chaos. Okay. Um, here's another. Here's another tweet. I like this one. Strange how they all these field agent age. Strange how they're all field agent age and in field agent shape. Not even one old fat man. Every single one looks like they could pass the physical requirements to be an FBI field agent. Strange coincidence, indeed. This person says exactly. Guardian Angel says they even walk the same. Okay. And here's another one that says, complete with a full police escort and a film crew as well. Yeah, they, they, every angle is being filmed, of course, the whole time. Did you notice all the camera guys in that uh, being filmed the whole time? And, uh, and, and, of course, they had a full you know, Capitol Police escort on bikes and, and the front and, and back as they were going up near the Washington Monument to, uh, to speak and deliver their address. The timing of the speech by Biden was perfect, though. And according to reports, a number of illegal migrants poured across the southern border last week alone. So, of course, the man who's responsible for this border crisis would agree with Biden on the biggest threat to the United States is white supremacy? Listen. The president yesterday uh, at his commencement address uh, for the Howard University graduates called white supremacy uh, uh, the, the major domestic terror threat in this country. Is that correct? Uh, it tragically is. You know, um, in the terrorism context, domestic violent extremism is uh, our greatest threat uh, right now. Individuals are driven to violence because of ideologies of hate. Uh, anti-government sentiments, false narratives, personal grievances. You hear that? You see that? Now, <laughs> they're going to tie all of this to, to, to us. All right? This is why we tell you particular groups, all right? You, you, you linked in with E, all right? They're going to use you for their agendas. It may seem sweet. You're getting these grants. You're able to do this, these prison programs. But a lot of you are going to be used to bring on the persecution, which they're going to do it anyway. All right. But we are as the as the watchmen are just showing you this. See? And like and regrettably, we have seen a rise in white supremacy. Yeah. Yeah. A rise in white supremacy. But now so-called black supremacy is tied to it. So what white supremacists do, all supremacists do, supremacists, supremacists, uh, anti-gov, anti-mandate, uh, uh, anti-this, anti-that, all right? And they're going to be able to use the talking points. They, they can link Trump in there, all right, to the talking points of the Israelites to bring about a persecution, all right, of this kind of person that is an enemy to our NWO. See that? I mean, like, we saw a rise in white supremacy even in the moments after President Biden gave his speech at Howard University, there was a big white supremacist march of like 150 people at the Washington, in Washington Monument. Like the timing of all of it, it's amazing how all of this comes together. And also, it's also extremely ignorant. Sorry, you go, you go ahead. You go ahead. Now. Go ahead. Well, well, the FBI data doesn't show that white supremacy is actually the, the biggest threat to Americans. It's inner city gun violence and, uh, you know, inner city violence. Violence. In, yeah. It, and so that's... Edomite supremacy is the biggest problem in cancer on the planet Earth. Okay? Yes, niggas in the inner city are an issue. All right? But that was an issue created by Esau. Okay? So-called black culture and all of these various different things that can be pushed out to the forefront as problems. All right? At the root of that problem is Esau. Okay? 
Where did the guns come from? Again, we call out our people for their evil and for their ignorance. All right, but if you're gonna sit here and act like so-called Edomite supremacists and the, and the grip they have over the planet Earth is not the biggest problem, then you're crazy, all right? But then synonymously, the, the, the majority of the mass shootings, which now ironically they're tying the, the, what Jake is doing in the hood, calling them mass shootings, it's Edomites. Anyway, let's get a few scriptures, okay? This is what the, the, the this is their uh, plan, man. Okay, they draw they do it secretly though. Okay, they're drawing out the sword. Okay. Psalms 37 and 14 the wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy and to slay such as be of upright conversation. You see that? They're doing it secretly though. OK, to come against those who who have the truth. All right. And their sword is more than just their uh, gun, you know, the, the, the physical blessing of the, the military and all of that. Their propaganda, how they're able to uh, uh, subvert the mind. All right. And to make all right, a, a group of people who are just standing up, preaching the word uh, of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, fulfilling prophecy, make that into a terroristic act. Using, all right, uh, uh, now their talking point against white supremacists, all right, now synonymously black supremacists too, okay? Their sword shall enter into their own uh, heart and their bone bowl shall be broken, all right? So again, the Lord sees you devils, man, and the prophets see you devils. Okay, let's get the book of Revelation, the 12th chapter. All right, they're going to be able to make a man an offender for a word through this. OK, and, 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 and again, the devil is going to come down with great wrath fast. It's going to happen fast. So in the coming uh, 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 months, all right, uh, the, the, you know, leading into this next year. OK, this there's a lot that's getting ready to happen. Revelation 12. And 10, and I heard a voice saying, now is come salvation and the strength of, of our king of the kingdom and the power of our uh, and the power and the, the kingdom of our power. All right. And the power of his anointed for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. And a lot of this stuff is, is, is forming an accusation against those who are out on the highways and the byways teaching his word in sincerity and truth. OK. And how are we going to overcome this devil? All right. By the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony. OK. Prophesying, speaking the end of this man's in, uh, uh, system into existence. OK. Therefore, rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them for the woe unto the inhabitants of the earth. Is what we're telling you. All right. And to the sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath. OK. The devil has come down unto you having great wrath. All right, because he know what he have but a short time. This is what all of this is leading to, the persecution. And when the dragon saw that he was cast down unto the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man child, which is the Israelites. The seed of the serpent versus the seed of the woman. All right, it's getting ready to play out, but they're using all kinds of propaganda to bring it about. Okay, to bring about that persecution. All right, and let's end it off here in verse uh, 17. And the dragon was wroth with the woman, and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of the Most High and have the testimony of Yahawashai. See, which that's going to be the tool, all right, under the blood of Yahawashai that overcomes this devil, man. All right, so we see you devils, man. All right, we see exactly what you're doing. We see exactly where it's going. We've been watching, all right, from, uh, you know, doing these videos and everything through the spirit and power of Yahawashim Yahashai that we've spoken, you've done it. All right. And what's coming next is a, uh, a we're going to we're going to be in the news. All right. But they're, 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 they're warming the people up to it. Black supremacists, white supremacists, white supremacists, black supremacists, terrorists, domestic terrorists, uh, uh, radicalized by online talking points. See, and then they come. All right. After those who have the true testimony in which that's when the Lord. OK, um, because when they bring that charagma. All right. 
the, what we're saying, all right, is going to be deemed uh, uh, like like complete treason. All right, so we got to prepare our soul for what's coming down the pipe. I just wanted to do that real quick. Hopefully, I will edify it on to the next. Shalom.